everyone, this is Suzy Q of Suzy Q's Happy Little Haven, and welcome to my nursery room window. So today I have Tommy with me, and I brought him on to help me with Theme Thursday. And Theme Thursday is bunnies and Peter Rabbit. And so um, I have both bunnies and Peter Rabbit today that I wanted to show you. And so um, let's go ahead and get started, and um, I'll show you what I'm going to be changing Tommy into. So this is something that I made up today, and it's kind of unusual, but you know how I am. <laughs> I'm kind of unusual. So um, I have this little um, Peter Rabbit outfit that Suzanne of Suzanne's Babies had gifted to me quite a while ago. And so what I did was I wanted to kind of dress it up a little bit for Tommy because, you know, he's like, he's my bow tie boy. And um, so... What I did was I um, I found this pants, this pair of pants that has some navy blue suspenders. And um, the pants go, they coordinate with the bunnies uh, who are, uh, the bunnies are kind of like a, a tan, like a, a tan brown color. And actually this is a sweater vest, but I'm going to tuck it in and I'm going to have the suspenders showing. And he's going to be wearing a bow tie. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to, ha you know, have fun with this outfit today. And it's really different, I know. But, um, you know, that's what it's all about, having fun. So that's the Peter Rabbit portion. And then um, in the background, you'll see my uh, bunny stuffies that I have. I have a little uh, bunny collection, uh, which I've had for quite a while. And I just wanted to bring them in. Um, to you know to be part of the bunny theme and then tommy is uh he's holding a little toy bunny that i uh that i made uh, a couple of years ago that i named heather and i um, gave her a little um, necklace a name necklace and she's really she's super fluffy and um, i wanted to make a blue eyed bunny because i myself have a blue eyed bunny and his name is uh, Benji. So that's Tommy's little toy for today. But I'm going to go ahead and set uh, his toy aside for now so that I can get him changed into his outfit. And I'm going to put his hat back on because he loves wearing his hat. Now, um, I'm in my new nursery and uh, right now it's a really nice sunny day outside. But I'll tell you what, you guys, um, today I decided that I, you know, I thought it would be a good idea to move my, to move my couch babies, um, into the farmhouse here because I wanted to be able to, uh, you know, to, to have them available for when I wanted to get them dressed up. Well, anyway, um, when I started the move, it's, it started clouding over. It started, today started out as a beautiful uh, sunshiny day and then it clouded over and then it started uh, hailing <laughs> little tiny bits of hail you know not anything you know it was more like little bits of frozen rain you know nothing nothing hurt when it came down so I thought well I'm just going to go ahead and continue with my move and uh, which worked out and what I have I have this collapsible uh, wagon that I use to move things back and forth from uh, from the farmhouse here over to the cottage. And so I got my handy dandy wagon out and um, I loaded up my first, um, first few couch babies and it started snowing. I mean, actually snowing. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. You know, I go, on a day that was supposed to be a nice sunny day, it started snowing. Uh, so what I did was, um, on my second, it was what, my second, uh, I think it was my second or third wagon load of uh, baby dolls, I decided that I was going to stop and take a video. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and, and insert that video right here and show you um, that I was actually moving my couch babies um, from the cottage into the farmhouse which started out on a nice snowy, uh, nice sunny day, and it turned into a snowy day, and it was just so bizarre. So I'm going to go ahead and put that little bit of footage in there right now. 
So I'm right in the middle of moving my couch babies <laughs> from the cottage to the farmhouse and look what's going on. This is April 1st and it's snowing. It is snowing and um, here's the wagon that I have my the rest of my couch babies in um, and I've got it you know covered up with uh, a couple of big heavy towels so my babies doesn't don't get all wet and stuff but my gosh you know this is my moving day <laughs> uh, so let me uh, I'm gonna grab the wagon it's gonna be a little noisy but uh, yeah I wanted to show you what happened on my uh, couch baby move so there you have it it started out with little tiny bits of hail and uh, then it turned into these huge snowflakes and see my wagon there's my wagon trail I'll go backwards for a minute here this is really a nice wagon I got this at Aldi a few years ago and um, I love it it uh, it folds up and everything and then it's it's you know heavy duty enough to carry my heavy babies I'm gonna walk in the road don't worry cars are coming from up the road there so I'll be able to see them <laughs> but yeah I thought I would share my my winter my snowy winter couch baby move with you <laughs> This is hilarious. You know, this morning it was a beautiful sunny day. And so I thought, oh, it's gonna be a perfect day for a move. And then it started snowing. And like I said, this is April 1st. So this is maybe my April Fool's Day. This is nature's uh, idea of, of putting an April Fool's Day joke on me today. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we're getting to the farmhouse. Some of you wondered how far the farmhouse was from the, from the cottage. So I'm about, so see, there's the cottage. And then there's the creek. And then there's the farmhouse. So I don't know how many feet or yards or whatever that is, but, um, it, you know that's how far it is it doesn't even take a minute it might take a minute but I'm a fast walker so anyway I'm gonna cross the road let me see if I can listen for cars nope see this is a treacherous corner see that corner that's a blind corner right there and they can't see me and I can't see them so I have to really pay attention now we're headed to the farmhouse. And what, what fun it's been. <laughs> Moving in the snow. Moving my couch babies in the snow. So, well, that's, a, that's all I wanted to share with you right now. As soon as I get my couch babies all set up, I am going to do a video about that. But I'm going to put this video um, in another video. So take care and see you soon. So real quick, just as I got to the farmhouse and shut the camera off, the sun came out. So now it is snowing and the sun is out. Isn't that funny? It's so strange the weather these days. That's my garden. I'm gonna be planting my garden in a, about a month or so. That's the kitty barn up there. And that's the farmhouse. And that's the wagon that I have my couple of more baby dolls in there to put on the couch. But um, yeah, just wanted to share the sunshine with you. Maybe the sun will stay out for the rest of my move. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, catch you later. Okay, so um, there's the snow. Wasn't that bizarre? I mean, it start, like I said, it started out little tiny flakes or little tiny bits of snow or hail. And then the snowflakes got super, super big. And uh, 
it was just something else. But, I, you know, I had, every time when I was going from the farmhouse um, back to the mobile and then back again, I called the, the mobile the cottage, uh, I had uh, a couple of really thick uh, blankets over the babies, you know, so that they wouldn't get wet or anything like that. So the babies were not in any danger <laughs> of getting too much snow on them. And isn't Tommy cute? I love this sculpt. Um, uh, Emma Bennett did him, and he's just gorgeous. Uh, he's the most cutie patootie little guy. He's my brown eyed, brown eyed, uh, light brown haired baby boy, and uh, he's adorable. And Emma put some little tiny teeth in there. I'll show you. They weren't supposed to be in there, but you know, that's what Emma does. She looks at a sculpt, and then she decides, you know, um, to put teeth or not put teeth or whatever. And um, anyway, with this particular one, and actually she's done it a couple of times, she'll, you know, she said, oh, I want to, I, I think that this, you know, this baby would look really cute with teeth. Um, you want me to send you a picture? And I said, no, don't send me a picture. I trust your judgment. And I'll tell you what, uh, she never, never disappoints. And those baby teeth, they, they, they look like they're just barely popping through. <laughs> and I love that. So, um, so anyway, yeah, uh, back to the move in the snow. I did get my, my couch babies all situated. And what I decided to do, uh, for now anyway, I, I don't know what I'm going to do in the future. But I, I left, in the cottage, I left, um, I left... Uh, Maggie May, and I left um, Emma Grace and Abby Rose on on the couch over. Oops, I just dropped a hanger. I left them um, on the couch over in the cottage because uh, you know I just I didn't want it to be bare for me, and I wanted to be able to see some of my babies. So anyway, um, I might bring them over at some point because you know, of course, I'm going to be having. Uh, Maggie May on and Emma Grace and Abby Rose on, you know, on video, and so I'll be bringing them over eventually, you know, whenever I have them on. But um, for now, I left them on the couch so it wouldn't be such a shock <laughs> for me and my husband um, not to have our kids, our couch kids, you know, on the on the couch, so um, or in the room. And so when I bring over um, Maggie May and Emma Grace. I will also bring their pink rocking chairs over, and I'll set them up somewhere here in the nursery, you know, or maybe in, maybe in the living room out there, uh, along with the couch babies. And um, I'll I'll be showing you um, the couch babies one of these days. It won't be in this video. Um, it'll be one of these days whenever I can get the living room back in order, because it's still full of things that I took out of um, here, out of this new nursery, and. Um, you know, it still has those things in it, and I have to get those things taken upstairs to the attic closet. I think is where I'm going to put everything. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and put his bow tie on right now. This is going to be a super cute look for him. <laughs> oh, he just has to have a bow tie on. That's just his look. Yep. It Velcros in the back, so it's really, really easy to put on. And, um... This, this onesie, um, Suzanne had also sent the onesie along, and uh, it's got a perfect little Peter Pan collar so that the bow tie will, you know, fit right in the middle there. So, anyway, um, gosh, I have a couple of other things that I want to show you as well um, in my video here. I'm going to uh, add a couple of mo more photos. Um, so, first of all, this morning I had a really Fun, nice surprise. I looked out. I was looking outside the kitchen window while I was over uh, at the cottage while I was making my coffee, and lo and behold, uh, the goose couple. I saw the goose couple. They were um, they were down way down the down on the property, um, too far for me to try to get a, a close up of them. But um, I ended up. Uh, you know, getting um, a good, pretty good sh uh, picture out the living room window. And so uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, post that right now, as well as I also, uh, I have these daffodils 
that I, a little patch of little tiny patch of daffodils and every year they bloom but then what happens is some some kind of an animal eats the tops uh, eats the flowers um not real sure what animal it is that does that but um so what i did was uh i the two of them bloomed uh yesterday they were in bloom yesterday and so i took a picture of them real quick before they would uh you know before whatever whatever animal likes to chew on the tops <laughs> uh chewed them up before I, I could show you you know they're not real pretty daffodils like i've seen some really pretty um you know ones that are uh i've got got to pick up little tommy here because i gotta tuck him in in the back yeah see there he is Here's my little cutie. Yeah, he's a cutie. Um, but yeah, so they're not real pretty yellow, like the, like you'll see, you know, the beautiful yellow daffodils. But um, that's the best I can do with daffodils in my yard. You know, I got to catch them before they fully get um, bloomed out good so that uh, I can get them before the whatever, whatever animal is eating them up. So I'm going to go ahead... Um, right now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the photo um, of the geese, the geese couple, as well as the daffodils right now. And so, um, I hope you enjoyed seeing those pictures. It's, um, it's kind of fun to, you know, when spring comes to take pictures of things. I'm really hoping, hoping, hoping that... Um, the birds in our on our property. I'm hoping that the birds will build nests in an area that I can get photos of them so that I can share them with you. That is always so exciting. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is do my little clip clip trick, and I have these clips because his suspenders are way too long. If I can get the, if I can get the lid off, it's supposed to come off easier than that. So I got the lid off, <laughs> and um, I'm going to use one of these clips. I'm going to choose a blue one. These are my handy-dandy clips. I'll choose a blue one so that I can shorten his um, suspenders back here. So I'll go ahead and do that. And it looks like the suspenders are not even on the, the very top button, so I'm going to... Let me switch him around here. Let's see if we can work on this. Okay, so the very top button hole is this one up here, which I'll put it in there like that. That helps a lot. And then, um, gosh, hmm, I don't think it really needs too much, too much shortening, but, um, well, oop just dropped it. I'll, put, I'll get another one here. And it's kind of cold in, in this room, um, but I like I like it cold for the uh, baby dolls. You know, I don't I don't like to put them in too hot of a room because of their vinyl and their paint and stuff. So anyway, reason I said it was cold is because my hands things are kind of slippery in my hands. You know how that goes. So there he is, and um, guess what I forgot to bring. I need, I forgot to bring his shoes and socks, so I'm going to, I'll try to get him squared away here. I'm going to get his shoes and socks out of the closet. Okay, so I found these cute little shoes from the shoe fairy, and um, I thought since he's kind of dressed up a little bit here that he would, he could wear these, and I think these are just perfect. They're um, this is like a, oh, like an egg, egg white, uh, egg, what do you call that? Well, it's like an off-white color, um, siding, and it's got, uh, brown trim, and then the, the tips of the, the toes are white, and the, uh, the laces are elastic. And then I thought these brown socks would go really well, too. So let's go ahead and lay Mr. Tommy down. Yeah, there he is, looking at you, right at you with those big brown eyes. <laughs> yeah, he, this is how he likes to relax. He likes to have his arms up like that to relax. 
So anyway, yeah, it's been a big day for me. It's um, moving day and came Thursday, and um, I actually didn't know if I was going to be able to do a theme Thursday today because of the the move of the couch babies, but um, I was able to pull it off, and I'm glad that I glad that I did. So let's go ahead and put his left shoe on. Make sure there's no wadded up um, tissue in there. Oh, that's going to look really cute. Oh my goodness. I love these shoes. The shoe fairy did a good job. Good job, shoe fairy. Yep, she's given me a lot of um, a lot of really cute shoes for my boys and some for my girls and uh, I really appreciate her. She's a she's such a nice friend. So thoughtful. There we go. We'll put your other shoe on. These fit Tommy really well. Yes, they do. Yep. Let's get your foot in there, mister. Let's get your foot in there, mister. Aw, those look so cute. Yeah. Can you see? Yep. <laughs> he is such a cutie patootie. And then he's got his, his Peter Rabbit outfit on so there you have it let's see what else oh his hat see his hat goes along with it too this color of hat really matches up with everything you know it just seems like the outfits that I put on Tommy um, I like to kind of have it a little to the side like that so there he is everyone there's Tommy let me turn him back around and get him situated for you there he is, in all his adorableness. There's little shoes. Get, get you down there just a little bit. Yeah, so you can see all your aunties and uncles. So one other, th one other thing before I go. Uh, I told e my friend Edith that I would show her how this uh, carousel globe um, looked whenever I uh, turned the key and uh, turned the music on. So. I'm going to go ahead and do that for you right now, Edith. And um, you can see the horses spin around. And as you can see, the bottom horses spin around as well as the, uh, the top horses do too. So there you go, Edith. I hope you enjoyed um, seeing my music box. I think it's so pretty. And um, the top of the globe has uh, little sparklies in it. I guess let me go ahead and uh, give it one more shot here. Where you can see the little sparklies. Isn't that pretty? I'm not sure what that tune is. Well, everyone, um, that's all I had planned for today. Um, I hope that you're having a good uh, Thursday today and I uh, hope you enjoyed my video and I always appreciate you coming by for a visit. Uh, so anyway, um, thanks for stopping by and until we meet again, bye bye.